this is Mother Mantis. This has been a busy week at House Mantis. I've been building out my Discord. I've been firming up my live stream schedule and coming up with strategies for what videos I want to put up and how to fit those into my normal life schedule. Because you know, can't take over the world without a plan. Today I want to talk to you about games that I've tried to introduce Mr. Mantis to um, and had not had very much luck. <laughs> You know, I game by myself most of the time. It's been that way for several years. And uh, I thought for a while there that, you know, maybe I could get my husband into doing this. Wouldn't that be fun? And I have to think that there aren't that many wives around who are like, yeah, go buy the big screen TV. Go buy the gaming console. Of course you can buy that $2,000 graphics card. No problem. Anyway, as usual, if you enjoy this video, it'd be awesome if you could like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. And now let's get on to the games I've tried to introduce my husband to without any luck. First up is World of Warcraft. I don't even feel like I need to give a description of this game. It's been out since 2007. My daughter and I started playing it um, about four months before uh, BC came out originally. And about 10 years ago, I made my husband a little warrior and uh, went over to help him. I thought it'd be good if he had a tank, might be an easy class to start with. And he ran around Elwyn Forest, beating the crap out of kobolds for an hour or so until he got up to about level four. And then he put that down, logged out, and never went back in the game again. <laughs> that poor little warrior is probably still hanging out in Elwyn Forest, forlorn and alone. Oh well. Another one I tried out on him is uh, Generation Zero. Here's the write-up for Generation Zero. It's Sweden, 1989. When the residents of Oosterturn wake up to find robots on the rampage, winning becomes living. Alone or with up to three friends, sneak, scavenge, and shoot your way to safety across a vast, varied landscape that is as intriguing as it is deadly. Now what doesn't sound fun about that? I'll admit too that I tried to get him to play that one more because I wanted to play it and it would be more fun to play with a friend. Anyway, it didn't work. You know, I love this feeling. The smell of the road in the morning. The color of the dust cloud behind my trail. The deep voice of the mighty beast I'm driving. American Truck Sim. Experience legendary American trucks and deliver various cargoes across sunny California, sandy Nevada, and the Grand Canyon state of Arizona. American Truck Simulator takes you on a journey through the breathtaking landscapes and widely recognized landmarks around the states. Now this is a game he saw and he wanted it. So got it downloaded, got it all ready for him, got it opened up, made his account, blah blah blah, sat down. Um, he had a lot of fun with it for about 30 minutes and then he got his truck stuck in a gas station and he basically rage quit. <laughs> Valheim is a brutal exploration and survival game for 1 to 10 players, set in a procedurally generated purgatory inspired by Viking culture. Battle, build, and conquer your way to a saga worthy of Odin's patronage. And I will admit, this is one of those games that I was kind of hoping against hope he'd, he'd like so that I'd have someone to play with. Alas, it did not work. Train Sim World. The evolution of train simulation, master iconic locomotives on high-speed services, long freight hauls or precise commuter traffic, and get creative with customization tools in this advanced game. Climb into the cab in Train Sim World. Again, another sim that he was interested in, but um, if the learning curve is more than about three minutes, World of Tanks. Jump into a free-to-play MMO action shooter featuring a huge roster of over 300 massive tanks, stunning graphics, and intuitive touchscreen controls. Take on short, action-packed 7v7 tank battles where real and alternate histories collide, no matter where you are. 
This one looked like it was going to be a success. He actually was in the game for about an hour and a half, drove around his tank, and uh, looked like he was having fun, but uh, it didn't last long. World of Warships. Experience epic, free-to-play naval combat when you helm one of over 350 historic vessels in the exciting balance of strategy and real-time combat that World of Warships offers. Outfit your fleet with flags, camouflages, modifications, talented commanders, and more. I haven't actually even managed to get him to try this one yet. I still have hope for this one. Microsoft Flight Simulator. From light planes to wide-body jets, fly highly detailed and accurate aircraft in the next generation of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Test your piloting skills against the challenges of night flying, real-time atmospheric simulation, and live weather in a dynamic and living world. He actually expresses interest in this one, but he probably wouldn't buy the gear that he needs to really play this game to its fullest unless he really took up video gaming. <laughs> Sunday Rivals. Sunday Rivals is a fresh take on hard-hitting, action-packed football games of the past, built and tuned for a hungry generation of players ready to take back the field. Now this one I still have hope for. It's a very simple arcade style, hopefully in the vein of like the old NFL Blitz. I have hope for this one. Destiny 2. Destiny 2 is an action MMO of the single evolving world that you and your friends can join anytime, anywhere, absolutely free. Okay, this is another one that I was kind of hoping against hope he might take to. Uh, I love Destiny. It's not that fun, much fun to play by yourself. It was a no-go. bought these games, I installed them on his computer, I made sure his computer was in a position to run the games adequately. Nope. If you have ideas for games that he might like, let me know. Thanks and enjoy your day. Cheers.